welcome in this session we are going to discuss about event driven architecture it is one of the essential concept that every developer must know event driven architecture is also known as eda which is one of the architectural style in which decoupled applications i mean different components or microservices can asynchronously publish and subscribe to events via event broker event broker is a kind of modern messaging oriented middleware first we will discuss about what is request driven architecture and then we will compare it with event driven architecture here is an example for request driven system we have a web application which takes requests from the client process the request then and there and returns back the response the client request is processed synchronously there is no delay when you make a request it will be processed in the same request call and returns the response immediately this is called request driven system here is an example for event driven system it works slightly different not slightly completely different here also we have a web application which takes requests from the clients rather processing the request then and there immediately the server creates an event or message push it to the message broker or event bus and then replies back the client saying i have accepted your request please note here the request is just accepted it is not that the request is processed hope you notice the difference there is another service which is processing events or messages from event bus or message broker once these requests are processed successfully it will send a notification to the client saying hey your request is processed successfully it can be a direct notification from this service to the client or it can be via another message broker here the client requests are processed asynchronously i mean the client made the request and it got a response saying your request is accepted rather waiting for the response back the client will start working on other tasks once the request is processed it will send a notification back to the client this is called asynchronous processing so this is called event driven architecture what is event we are talking about event driven system but what is event all of the things that happens within and to your enterprise are classified as events it can be customer requests inventory updates or sensor readings anything can be classified as events now we will take another example rather taking a big monolithic application let's assume that the application is broken down into multiple microservices any time client makes a request to the web application it will process the request by making api calls to service 1 service 2 and service 3 sequentially one after one finally the web application sends response backs to the client one of the drawback with these kind of approaches are higher response times the response will be sent back to the client only after making api calls to these services sequentially as number of services are growing the response latencies also will grow higher here is an example for simple shopping cart kind of application this is not the right architecture i am just taking this as an example to demonstrate the event driven application behaviors any time the client places an order the request will be accepted and places an event into the message broker here the shopping cart service is acting as event publisher it generates events on the other side few services are listening to these events they are acting as subscribers any time when the event occurs these interested subscribers consumes the event and process the request we can have any number of subscribers here in general the publisher will not have any knowledge on its subscribers they both are completely isolated here each service has its own responsibilities and all these services or subscribers 
process the events parallelly. So parallel execution is happening here. A service can act as both publisher and subscriber. Order management service here. This one is an example for acting as both publisher and subscriber. It is consuming and processing the event from this event bus. After successful processing, it is generating events for this event bus. It is generating notification for notification sender. Now let's talk about pros and cons of event driven system. Availability. In the request driven system, irrespective of either monolithic application or microservice based application, any component failure will directly impact the customer. Let's say this web app is down. Customers cannot place requests. It is a complete application downtime. Similarly, here also let's assume that service 2 is down for some time. Not the entire system, it is just service 2 is down. The API calls to service 2 will fail. Until all these API calls are successful, Customer request cannot be processed. The application will throw an error back to the client. Just because one of the service is down, the entire application is affected in this case. Many times it is not a good experience for the customer. It is application owner's responsibility to ensure 100% application availability. On the other hand, the event driven system behavior is slightly different due to asynchronous in nature. A temporary failure in inventory management system does not affect the entire application. The customers can still place a request. Since the service downtime is temporary, once the service is back, it will start processing all pending events from event bus or message broker. There is no impact on the customer and no application downtime. Due to this behavior, event-driven system provides better availability. One more point here. Again, the pros and cons can vary based on the use cases or nature of the services. For example, fail fast is mandatory while doing a financial transaction. It is always a feel-good factor to throw an error back during the transaction failures rather saying your request is accepted and will process it. So it is all depends on the situation or use cases. You must take a right decision on when to use event driven system. It may not fit in all your use cases. The next advantage is the transactions are guaranteed. In the request driven architecture, when you make a request, we will lose the request if the system is down. We cannot replay those requests once again when the service is back. But in event driven architecture, you can replay the events once the service is back because all the events are available in the event bus or message broker. Not only this, let's say you did a code change and which is buggy. You push this buggy code to the production and notice the bug little later. You can just revert back the build and you have a possibility to replay all the events and fix the environment. There are different ways to replay these events depends on your message broker. The next advantage is it is easy to introduce any new system. It is just like introducing another subscriber. For example, for this message broker, we can add a service, a new service like a subscriber. It will start reading all the events right from the beginning of the message queue. Publisher need not know what all subscribers it has. But it can be a disadvantage in few cases not knowing who is consuming your events. For example, if you change a message contract here, the structure of the message in your new release, it will affect the services whom you have not considered for the release or testing. Also, you must be careful while sharing sensitive data through events. You must implement security best practices in this case. Data consistency is a big issue with event driven system due to asynchronous nature of processing. It will never be strict consistent data. 
it will be always eventually consistent data. Hope you understood this. The another disadvantage is sometimes you cannot revert the actions which is already taken place. It is out of your hand. For example, notifications to the client. Once it is sent, you cannot revert them back. Also, it is very hard for the developers to debug the system because of its dynamic flow. You need to be wise while choosing event-driven architecture. It may not fit for all kind of applications. It is a best fit for real-time analytics kind of applications, IoT kind of applications, healthcare industries, and so on. This is an introduction to event-driven architecture. Hope you like it. Thank you. Please do like the video and do subscribe to the channel if you are not. Thank you.